everybody, it's Chloe Demir of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. I am your 53-year-old, um, older than the average duck YouTuber who likes to do makeup showing how it looks on aging skin. Today we have a little bit special of a video. We know we're obsessed with makeup. We know we're obsessed with Juvia's Place. So for the first in this series, we're going to go over makeup that we're obsessed with. And I have a special guest. I have sitting next to me, the fabulous, the gorgeous, the impersonating a little bit of a Jessica Rabbit. The, the older wonderful... than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wilma Fingerdo from the Wilma Fingerdo Review on YouTube and on Instagram. How you doing, hun? I am doing better now that I am looking at you, you gorgeous thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. A little bit of a mess today. I had to take my cats to the groomer, so they're hating me right now. But other than that, got a few uh, full face of what we're talking about today. Yes. Yes. So you, like me, are obsessed with the Juvia's Place. So what was, who, how did you find Juvia's Place? And what was your first palette with Juvia's Place? Okay, I had, um, <laughs> I was, um, before the pandemic, like right before the pandemic, a drag queen from Montreal was over. We were filming um, the fina the premiere of the first season of Drag Race Canada. And I have the video up on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. But uh, so I was sitting across from uh, uh, Sia tonight and she, arrived as a bald skinny construction worker <laughs> and within 15 minutes we were sitting across from each other as we're putting our makeup on and you know she had her mirror and I had mine and every time I kind of looked up at her she was getting dewier and fresher and deliciouser and <laughs> I was like here I am with my Krylon sticks and my my uh pans of just stage contour and she's got these lovely little things that look like magic wands and flutes to draw the children <laughs> out and what is that you're using? Well, it was Jeffree Star. Now, keep in mind, I had never heard of Jeffree Star. I mean, I knew who he was because he was that annoying person on YouTube I didn't like. But I didn't know anything about him or his makeup or anything. Uh, I I just thought as a drag queen, I just was cursed to use Krylon and leave it at that. Well, by the time we were done, Seattle looked so gorgeous that I couldn't stand it. So after she left, I was online buying some Jeffree Star. Now, Thankfully, not a lot was available because this was almost the height of his fame. Right before he released uh, Cremation, the black and gray palette. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was as I placed an order, I bought Bloodlust, that ridiculously stupid velvet octagon, mm -hmm. and a couple of other things. And I didn't realize or know that all makeup companies could fine mill a powder. I thought that that was a Jeffree Star thing. Like, I didn't know. So as I'm waiting for my order to come, I start start hearing all this stuff and start researching and find out what a douche he was. So I instantly had buyer's remorse and I regretted spending like the hundred. I'd never spent that much on makeup in one go in mm -hmm. my life. So in the course of exploring all that i came across nikki tutorials and she had just done the best eye primer in the world the p louise thing and she was then talking about this company juvia's place and i was like what i went to their website and lost my mind first of all all the prices were like a fifth of jeffree stars like a fifth their most expensive thing nowhere near like i, I would get changed from a 20 mm. and the colors and all of it so I just bit the bullet and bought a bunch of stuff. Most of what was available, like everything online was available. I'd like Jeffree Star mm -hmm. where most of it wasn't. So uh, I bought, the first one I ever bought was, uh, I bought a bunch in a row and I don't <laughs> remember, I think it was this and this. So the, Af uh, the Afrique, uh, oh no, Afrique by Juvia's. Mm -hmm. I love this one just because it was so bright. And this looked like anything that I had seen on any makeup store, except for round palettes, do you know what I mean? And small, yeah. but then the palette small, there was no mirror. The cost was like 10 bucks. I lost my mind. And then this one is, um, I think I got at the same time. And I got this one because of how big the pans were, but also um, this blue shade, Cleopatra mm -hmm. is the slightest shimmer in a navy tone. 
And so I used to set a lot of my eyeliner with it just because it gave it that something. Mm -hmm. You just catch it, but there was no reason. But other than that, also, this is a great neutral palette for my eyebrows. Oh, I can see that. Totally. Yeah, I really love that. And it was actually in using the Juvia's Place stuff, because this one had some nice neutrals too. I always, I always joke that I'm Scottish and cheap, uh, but I'm just cheap and Scottish. And <laughs> uh, I can't not use everything I buy because why am I buying it? So I would avoid the neutrals in my palettes. And I kept like, as all the other pans were going down, I'd have these pristine coin shaped colors. And I realized one day I was looking at one, I go, well, I could use that for my eyebrows. So I started using my eyeshadows for eyebrows. Up until then, I think I'd always used like, like a, a gel set something, mm -hmm. you know, like just yeah, something. Yeah. And then I started looking, um, so one of the other thing I used all of these today, um, the warrior collection from Juvia's place. There's three. Yes. And one this one them. here, the warrior two, the first one that came out was this one and it's lovely. It's all skin tones. It's great for contouring and highlights, but it's not got a lot of mats. Yeah. It's got one, two, three mats and everything else. All other six shades are shimmers and that's fine. But and I, I didn't use a lot of shimmers, but realized, Oh, this is a face palette. This isn't an <laughs> eyeshadow palette. So I started using this one for contouring uh, okay. along, cool. along with the second one, which yeah, is all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and That's the black in this one, what is it? Um, Sawata. Mm -hmm. This is like, like a disease. It'll follow you. It's, <laughs> it'll, <laughs> it'll catch everything. You know what I mean? It spreads like wildfire, <laughs> but it's the best black. Yeah. Every palette anyone ever says, that's the best black. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> this one. This one but is. this palette here is another one that i use for eyebrows blush mm -hmm. you know this is not white it's a bone color so this is a great thing to diffuse a, a blush like i when we started i was like well i look like a slapped arse so i <laughs> used some of that to take the red out um yeah. but yeah i think that i got one of the it may have been that one the first time like whatever order I did I ordered a bunch yeah. yeah and what's funny is that's the third one the color uh, warrior I but was always tempted tempted by that one but as we see here I have a lot of them here and a lot of color so uh, yeah no I it's think just one little handful yeah um, I have so many yeah, I think for me too, it was the same. It was Nikki Tutorials and I think Jackie Ina around the same time as yeah. well. I, I love her. Things. I don't see her anymore. No, she doesn't. Since she's opened her candle line, she doesn't do YouTube anymore. I think, I think she may be finished with YouTube, which yeah, awesome, right? So the first one that I ever got, and that was the one that caught my attention was the Zulu palette. And that was the same thing. The price is amazing. These yeah. beautiful, like the colors are just, and this was like, I think my first dip into real color. Cause I was always maybe a little bit of lavender, a little bit of beige sort, sort of, right. But, and you can tell I've got some good dips going on in yeah. this palette here. So this is probably. See, I feel if you have that Zulu but... palette, you don't need the warrior palette. Yeah, or I think vice that's, versa. yeah. Very, I think yeah i think that's the reason why i didn't mm -hmm. yeah because this is the uh zulu uh, this is the warrior palette down here and it has yeah. this gorgeous gray shimmer yeah for no reason whatsoever it's very metallic and blue silver yeah and then these this is a shimmer of this blue matte so it's a blue leaning whereas this one yeah. has um oh also this green i have on my eyelids today yeah it's no, a green cute. shimmer it's ridiculous like yeah. so this is the palette I use more, but I don't know. I'm one of those people I have to get the whole collection. Yeah, no. And then the second one I got, which was, I think that was released after the Zulu was, and everybody always has, doesn't know how to call it. So I don't know if it's the Deuce palette or the Duce palette, no idea, but it's this one here. Oh, and yeah. you can tell that I've been liking this one. I never got that one. It's fantastic. I wanted that so bad. Yeah, and then I thought they would go well together as well because I think they have some of the, right? So if you needed something a little bit more neutral to blend out or something. Yeah. So, but yeah. yeah I no. always I always wanted the Deuce palette, but I uh, it was never in. You know, the um, I, this is one of the first ones I bought. 
but they had the magic and then they had yeah. the magic mini this is the mini. yeah you can't yeah. get the magic full size yeah and those for, i don't know why i didn't get those ones either and then i don't do neutrals but my favorite neutral palette of all time is also juvia's play so i think this is probably the third one i got because i thought okay i've got all these bright colors i should try something as a little bit more neutral even though i don't oh, you know what i de i but... decluttered that one but yeah, no, mine's got holes all over. Like if yeah. I'm go neutral, I grab this one or I grab the all matte warrior one. Cause same thing too, because I was using that other one so much. I thought I would get more use out of this one, but it's definitely way warmer Yeah. than, than that one. So I think I use this one a little bit. Yeah. The thing I, the different. thing I found with the, um, that little green one, I can't, is that the Nubian? Yes thing I found with that one for me was uh it was very brown leaning and I didn't mm -hmm. use any of that yeah uh, and then the shimmers were they're they're all right but they're they just weren't things I was using at the time and I had it forever and I had to start making room I I, yeah. I have a, a rule I thought I would never one of these cubby holes I thought I will never have more makeup than will fit in that well now I have three <laughs> and and that's it I will not go beyond yeah. three so I actually decluttered that, and I think there was another very neutral Juvia's Place one that I had. The woman, oh. the drawing on the front seems to have like a big woven straw hat on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never got that one. It's, it's a great palette, but again, I just never used it. Yeah. Uh, this is another palette that I don't use near as often as I should. It's, oh, I was it's just dry. looking at that one. <laughs> great. This is a gorgeous green palette. It is. It is. When you and look at things like um, the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay or um, the uh, the the Carnival Four palette, there's a lot of greens, and then they mix mm -hmm. them with oranges. This was this was the first time I saw orange in a green yeah. palette. Yeah. No, this is one. It's probably color story wise, I think one of their best color stories. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. definitely a green lean. Like you can't do too much else because you've got your three greens that transition. Mm -hmm. and then you've got your complementing colors here a couple of shimmers and this highlighter so yeah. it's it's a good like this would make a great blush oh yeah for sure you know? i um, love the orangey blush yeah now, so yeah but this one was one that was orange. never in never in never in and then it was and i got it ever and then, of course you always have to get anything that is by the queen miss fumi so this is another one that i really like as well this, this is my first favorite blush palette i use this a lot i used it today i use this lovely pink in the front end and then i mix the purple and red just back here for depth yeah and then what i do once i put my blush all on then i kind of do my forehead and shin just to throw some tone in there with the contour just so it's yeah. not brown but this is a great great blush palette but this one here there's two the saharan one and two this is the one this one yeah, is I have number, yeah, I have number two because I didn't think I would get as much use out of one. It was pretty dark, but this one, and I have this one on today. Yeah. Oh, this is okay. pink here. You can barely see it because it looks like the background of this. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I love this. And this orange, this is a, a very like tangerine color. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And this highlight right here, it's just very gold. Yeah, it's no, yeah, no, it's amazing. And it's nice to have like a blush that has a little bit of shimmer in it as well. That always yeah, really yeah, I do like that. Although I really nice. But I, it's the color, the pigment. Mm hmm So nice. Yeah, and that's why I've been liking some of their smaller ones as well when they do the themed color. So like the pink. Yeah. My this. favorite small palette is also Fumi Desilu Fold. Yeah. This is uh I have the the gift box here, the disco party. This is my favorite palette. I've um, uh, uh, this is like a gunmetal silver in a black powder. So when it goes on, you get the silver, but no yeah. patchiness. And so if you mix that with this gorgeous deep, deeper, deep almost black blue, you get this great smoky eye. And then that teal, I thought that teal was a weird choice, but it's a perfect. Mm -hmm. This this uh, navy almost fades out to that color anyway yeah you know yeah, what i mean like it's got a lot more green yeah. in it than you think and then yeah. this blue shimmer you just have to shut up <laughs> <laughs> that and then the disco party lip gloss was one of the few lip glosses that i used 
almost to completion because it had little um, silver flecks. It looked like a disco ball. Like it would make your lip sparkly. Nice. So that was the best uh, little palette yeah. I ever got. Yeah. No, from there with the blues, I like their Allori too. So that one there. Yeah, I have. Do I have that one? Yeah, I have yeah. that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. No, that's fabulous. So I've been yeah, really I also excited. have this one, which is the I Love I Live. Yeah, I wanted to get that one too, but I ended up getting the Allori one instead. Yeah. This this oh. is the this is a glitter in this one. Yeah. It is so beautiful. I can't stand it. Yeah. They're one of the few glitters that I don't mind, but I'm yeah. not a huge glitter user. I think the only one I have a couple that have glitter in, so I have got their Melissa X one, which came out, I think, the same time as the Fumi one. Yes, so that yeah. glitter's pretty nice, too. I got that yeah. in one of the mystery boxes. So I don't have that one. That. So that one was really nice. But I've been really digging all their quads. So I have this one yes. on today. So this whole series was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Their, their quality is getting better and better. And I think... You know, like, especially if, say, if you are traveling, you just dry, do a couple of these. That's such a good palette. To do, yeah. yeah. And then the greens, it's just amazing. No, their quality, they've really, like... Um, I, think I think some of their best early yeah. mini palettes. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a gorgeous palette. But yeah. I, I wish that that bottom uh, right-hand corner was darker. You yeah. see how it's almost the same tone yeah. as the one above it? Like, yeah, it just no, needs to be sure. a step or two darker. It wasn't, they didn't yeah. take it far enough. I think it's pretty hard with quads to get the perfect quad. I think there's always something, a, a little lighter shade, a little darker shade, maybe, you know. Yeah, and but. people all wear their makeup differently. Like, just because mm -hmm. I like black and white as part of whatever color. Yeah. That doesn't mean everyone does. And it's funny, you know, I always say, oh, it has to have a black and a white palette in there. And, and then people look at me funny. It's like, why? And, you know, everyone does their makeup different. Some people do one, one and done. Some people yeah. just use a glitter wash and off they go. And Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. You know, and then like I said, I like smaller. So for me, not nine to 12 is kind of the sweet spot, but I do like smaller ones, but I do have a couple of their bigger ones. So I have oh, the two, big, big then, cojones. <laughs> yeah. And then the Garden of Juvius, which is amazing. Yeah, I have the the, the yeah. Juvia's Garden. Yeah. I sent you that one, didn't oh, I? Yes, you did. Yeah. That's and gorgeous. The, yeah, and it's the perfect pastel-y, summery. It really is. And the shimmers that are in this are so light and usable. They can go on as a topper, as a highlighter, whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. But really the other one that, that came out just before this that I have to have. The culture palette. Oh yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is gorgeous. I think I was on a no buy at that point, yeah. but that is stunning. If yeah. you see this, then it's on sale because they have great sales. This shade right here mm -hmm. looks like a sparkly old denim. That's it is perfect. one of. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust that one out before any of the other ones. Some of these greens too, like that chartreuse. They're really. It really is a gorgeous palette, um, yeah. and. I got that one because it was bigger. Yeah. This was the first big palette of Juvia's, which yeah. was their first Wahala. Yeah, I liked that one, but I don't know. There was something about it that it that didn't make me pull the trigger. But this, this side one, here is weird. I think that's what it is. Yeah, like I if like... that weren't there, it would be better. Yeah. Because yeah. these are all very like they're not declarative enough for Juvia's place. Mm -hmm. No, I exactly. just think of them as being wishy-washy, like revolution colors or something i don't know Ooh, not them <laughs> no and then this one which had it's one of the their first multi-chromes oh it's they such a good palette yeah and they didn't make the price so expensive because there was a multi-chrome in there there that are said, shades in there there's but... that glitter that pressed glitter from yeah. that uh or Lari, um or i live i love and then they have yeah. this pressed glitter in here yeah it's not the same yeah you know what I mean? They they've improved. They it wasn't a bad like this purple. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it depends on which purple. one you take. Yeah, because the what is it? The silver is really good. The blue, the lighter blue, is a little bit weaker. But 
or three more, but they were all, it was shimmer heavy for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more of a matte person. I'd be happy with all matte palettes and yeah. then just have a few extra shimmers somewhere, yeah. but it was just the color story itself that it's exquisite. I, really, I really liked. Yeah. And, and then I wanted to, to try the multi-chrome as well that they did. It's or a good multi-chrome. Or duochrome. Is it a duochrome or a multi -chrome? It's a duo. Maybe it's a duo. Yeah, it goes from orange to green, pink yeah, to green. Yeah, it's a duo. But still, for in a, you know, an inexpensive palette, right? Like, yeah. usually then they a brand will add like 20 bucks just to have one or two, you know. Oh, yeah. It, you can raise a palette right? easily $10 just for yeah. one. I've since, uh, again being of the mind that I, I need to use everything. I've since learned to just put, uh, because I'm a drag queen, I overdraw my my cut crease. Mm -hmm. So all those glitters now go on my eyelids, which go up higher than my eyelids. So you actually yeah. see them. Yeah. Well, you so even if I'm set with my big drag queen lashes, you can still <laughs> see that color. And so yeah. um, I'm actually starting a renaissance with glitters and shimmers that you know, this is I yeah. now that I know where I like them. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, there's definitely a bit of <clears throat> learning curve. And then you're a big fan of the foundation. I only use their foundation. This shade here is uh, 740. Um, I can't read any of this. It's all too small. Yeah, yeah. No, same. 680. I mix these two. Um, there's, a, there's one shade that I like the most, and it was out of stock the last time. <clears throat> and I feel like this might be at Bally, but these two, one's way darker and one's way lighter yeah. than I like. I like a light foundation so that it reflects a bit of light. Mm -hmm. um, and the time you have everything else on, it balances. Yeah, sure. yeah, I need, because I'll go in with actual white here and here, you know, and, and down my nose. Uh, so I don't want that white to be so stark. But their their foundations are like 22 bucks American, I think. Yeah, no, they're really, and there's a lot in there and a little goes a long way. Like I had a bit of a learning Full coverage. Curve. Mm -hmm. I had a learning curve with it. When I first got it, I was like, mm, it, it, it's okay. And then it was like, I don't know if I like it. And then I put it away for a while. And then I kind of got a little bit better at, you know, bait playing with base again. Cause I was years, I didn't wear makeup. Yeah. And then, then I thought, okay, no, I got, I got to use this. Let's make it work. And then once I figured out how it worked for me, I loved yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm just going a little bit away from super full coverage. I'm trying yeah. to go yeah. a, little, a little bit lighter now. But yeah. once you know how it works, it is a great. And then their sticks are pretty good too. I didn't bring any here, but I have I, them. Yeah, I have a yeah. few of those as well. I used their very lightest one, Tokyo, for all of my mm -hmm. highlight area. And then I've been using uh, Benin for my... Uh, my darker areas uh, yeah. like and i'll just do a line and then i blend it out mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. i don't need four or five different tones but these yeah. are often i think that they're 11 or 12 dollars but you can mm -hmm. often get them for four bucks yeah no for during sure during a great. sale and they're very emollient as well and then the and then there's their best thing their con mm -hmm. their concealer mm -hmm. this is their lightest concealer number 24 yeah, i i'm out but i yeah. love this yeah. Look how light that is. That's the lightest one. And I'll tell you, even some of their, um, I've seen some of the, the uh, tutorials and videos of uh, deeper complexion people using different concealers. And they, mm -hmm. oh, it's ridiculous. The formula is ridiculous. It does such yeah. a good job um, highlighting and it blends out. And the nice thing is it dries quick. Like you, you gotta, you can, you have to do one side and then yeah, you, yeah. You, you have can't a leave little it there. bit. Yeah, you have a little bit of work time, but not a lot of work time. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, that's my that's my my base, and and I underpaint. So what I do is I put those shade sticks, the light and the dark, on my face very starkly, no blending. Yeah. And then I put my foundation over uh, with um, a brush. I use this brush, which is weird because I never use brushes for makeup. I always use sponges. Yeah. But this one. I, I mix on my, pa I have a palette, I'm very involved, and I mix on my palette, and then I stipple this over all of that. Yeah. And it, the con, like all that contour and lightness shows through a little, nice. just a yeah, little. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then I set everything, and then I'll, I powder finish. But yeah. uh, I, I love um, 
Juvia's Place. If I can't get Juvia's Place, I use the Maybelline full coverage. Yeah. No, and their brushes are really good too. I have their foundation brush. So I got that when I tried the foundation and then the sticks. They make really nice I, yeah. dense brushes. I have one set and then I have a couple of the specialty ones. So the foundation and I think yeah. maybe a highlighter brush that came out special. I have a highlighter brush. That's, that's it. Yeah. I actually have two. I have a smaller one. I don't know why. Oh, mm -hmm. the other one might be a P. Louise, but this is definitely Juvia's. Yeah. yeah. But I don't have any of their brushes. And you know why? Quite honestly, they're mm -hmm. always out of stock. That's the thing. I was so excited when the when I was able to get the one set. It was like, ooh, and it was one of the more affordable sets. I was like, okay, yeah. now I can try them. And I think it's one, I think these are probably my first really good brushes. I think before that was like Elf or whatever, right? So these are my first like decent brushes and they've and I've so I've had them I would say four or five years now and they're still almost like brand new they're amazing no I think their their powder products are their their best products yeah. like I, I bought one when they first redid their blushes like I mean these are still good but like they're just amazing I think their powder products are so so on point oh I just bought one of those look yeah, you got from the newer set. Oh, I got, I see, whore pink. This is Wilma yeah. right here. This yeah. is, my camera is very red. Mm -hmm. This wig isn't this orange, and these aren't that dark. But they but are pretty I, bright. I love though. this. Pink, these are yeah. very Barbie camper, Pepto-Bismol pink. And yeah. uh, for me, I just, I really like that color. Um, yeah, yeah. So. And then I got the bronze light, and then I used that today as well. Let me so see that. So that's that one there. Yeah, see, that's not dark enough for me, but I feel like their other contour, the, do they do yeah, a medium? They did a, they did a light, medium, and dark at the time. I don't, and this, it came out with the first set of blushes. Yeah, because it's say, wider now. It's a wider range. Yeah, I think there were three of these and three of these. And I think when they <laughs> released the next set, that um, there's, there's definitely more oh, colors in them. Oh. Yeah, I haven't bought any of their contours. Um, yeah. or bronzers and I don't really use bronzers but again as I say mm -hmm. I use a lot of the shadows for that mm -hmm. um, I wanted to say I wanted to give a shout out to these two um, minis these yeah. are the uh, newbie and royal this is the purple yeah those were also on my list I wanted the sets at the time that came the whole package. I've almost panned that glitter it is so gorgeous it's almost the same as that uh the one that was in the um uh it's hard, it's better this one goes on well this is one of the earlier ones yeah it I goes think on I, better I mean, with glue yeah the orange one was the one that i was eyeing originally because i was starting to really get into yeah more orangey yeah. yellows it's gorgeous yeah, that one's really it's gorgeous pretty. yeah but again i want to say this is more yellow in real life than it's mm -hmm. showing here. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I remember. Them but being. again, that's a good blush. That's a nice highlighter. And this gold shimmer, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculously bright. Yeah. It's not showing up here, but it's got a beautiful um, uh, multifaceted glitter to it. Like it's not a duochrome or anything, but it, it, it has some highlights in it that are- uh, Yeah, it catches like the light in different ways. Yellow and orange, it's very pretty. Yeah. yeah, so I've liked most things I've tried. I think I don't need anything that was really a fail. I mean, I now I originally bought, I was trying wanted to try their highlighter. So now I got the lighter one that was in the mystery box, which is oh yeah, which is perfect. It rivals the give me glow um loose highlighter. But I originally bought this one in can I see it? in Nefertiti. Is that this is way too dark. <laughs> way too dark it's like i'm going to show you like my that. highlighter yeah. the... so. oh wow i don't even know how this happened <laughs> i feel like i got like this one in a mystery <laughs> box because i don't know if i would have bought this myself that's but a this solid is one right yeah. this is the nefertiti 2 no sorry the heroin glow 2 it's more rosy mm -hmm. that's pretty so this is the one i like to use under my blush and then i have oh this is their setting powder i'm so sorry this is not a highlighter this is the white sand setting, setting, powder. setting powder how is it i love it but yeah so, so the white sand setting powder 
was out of stock all the time. That's just... always when I wanted to get it. So that's why I've yeah. never had a chance to try it because every time I do do an order, not there. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I guess not. It's so beautiful. I have to tell you, it's so satiny once it's on, like the smoothness. It really, I feel like it really smooths out a lot of skin texture. I just put it on under the contour. I mean, yeah. under the concealer. Yeah. I'll put some on the concealer. Yeah, it's... It's just so lovely nice. and it's translucent, although it does have a bit of a color. It yeah. is translucent and that's, that's a fair, like this is the same size as anything you get from kimchi. Yeah. And it's half the price. And then these highlighters, uh, this is, if this is the heroin too, this is the heroin. And I think the reason that I avoided using these for a long time is because they're loose. You know, I'm just not used yeah, to. It. Yeah, I don't have very many. I have two, well, three technically. One that's yeah. too dark, but yeah, I know this one in Clio is is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, hard to see. Really so nice. Yeah. Yeah, this no, one's I, really. Oh, there, I got a little bit more on there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's gorgeous. Like, it's just got the color of it is just an off white, slightly pinkish gold. It's yeah. really beautiful. I think this would suit almost any skin tone. But look at it. It really gives a nice surface finish. No, and they don't give any texture. They look really, really nice and shiny. I think because they're loose powder, they settle into the pores or things a little better than a, a pressed powder. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think the, the one thing, I went on a tear for the perfect highlighter. And yeah. I still, in my mind, really haven't. I think the Gourmand Girls palette, uh, Bold and Brilliant, is as close as I've gotten to a good highlighter so I um, will that send I like. You that, I'll send you that one duplicate that I have from uh, Kaleidos and you can test them out. Oh, all right. For a pressed, they're my favorite pressed formula and loose. I always love, I got to give me glow. I just threw it in as to get, I think to get free shipping or something right. at one point. And it's the most beautiful highlighter I've ever used in my life. But this is pretty close now that I have like I just tried this for the first time today because like I said I only had the one that was wasted. Yeah, you are glowing like you're. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's this, but it's not leaving any weird texture. You see, no. Like smooth. No, that's what I love about shiny, the Juvia's right? loose. Yeah, yeah, and then I always like that their liquid lips always seem to come with a matte and a shimmer. So I have yeah. like three different sets of these. Like this is the newest yeah. one, so I thought I'd wear it today, but. Yeah, and then I have I'm missing one. It's in a, it's got to be in a purse somewhere. So yeah. I had two other two other sets. Like these are really good too. There's no, well now I guess because I've been drinking, but usually no butthole in the center. Like right. Oh yeah, I hate that. Buttons, right. Yeah. And then I have oh, the I have the is it Ubu the black? Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. I also have um. This is the Nefertari. Yeah, oh, red. Oh, okay, yeah. And I've used this a few times, and I—it's the only one that's got a smell to it that's odd. Um, have you ever noticed with waterproof things, sometimes you get that fish oil yeah, smell? Yeah, yeah. That's what I get from this. I just yeah. very subtle, like I'm having a fish oil vitamin. Got you. Yeah. You know how you have a fish oil that you burp later, and you kind of get. Yeah. It's not strong. It's not off-putting. It's just. Why is there fish? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have one of the glosses and they smell really nice. Yeah. Very car caramelly. And then yeah. I do like their lipsticks and liners as well. I just have one, one set. I have to say, I have not used a lot of their lipsticks or a lot of their liners. I mean, I have three of their lipsticks here. These two came in, in mystery boxes. Mm -hmm. And then I bought that one. Uh, because this is a very slightly pink red it's nice but yeah. um there I, I went on this tear i had to find a, a lip color i liked i was leaning towards pinks and i needed yeah. variety and they're fine there's nothing wrong with them but yeah. i i find in general like their bullet lipsticks which i prefer to buy mm -hmm. they're too um neutral even their red like they're deep yeah and they're gorgeous but they're yeah. they're too strong for wilma yeah but I love them. And then I have one of their eyeliners. These are pretty nice too, but you have to be careful or they'll break off. So you have to make sure you don't roll it up too far. Yeah. I have a, I have the Royal. Yeah, I think that's the same one that I got there. And it's fine. But again, I've I've used it where I've broken the tip off so yeah. many times. 
I'm just not a fan of mechanicals. Yeah, no. I prefer a wooden sharpen it yourself pencil. Um, yeah, yeah, no, sa same. I like this because I like that it's easier a lot of times to get in your waterline for smoothness value versus a lot of pencils. But the breaking off makes me crazy, and that's with almost every brand. I don't think I found a single mechanical brand that doesn't have that problem. Yeah. Where you have to roll it up as little as as yeah. possible. Because if you made the 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 product harder it wouldn't go on your face yeah exa exactly uh -huh. so yeah. yeah you really almost have to have it just barely above and then uh, move it uh, move it yeah exa <laughs> but it's, exactly it's a exactly. gorgeous navy that eyeliner yeah. it really is yeah, beautiful it is. and they do yeah. like their um this as well too like their nourishing lip balm <gasps> my favorite's have. the peppermint yeah i i used that one up i i felt like it was a it was longer than that but i felt like it was like a week because it was like every few minutes like oh some more some more some more i have to tell you every awesome. time every time i bought something from juvia's place yeah uh if their lip conditioners were on sale i would get the peppermint one and i think they're 12 dollars on their own 18 so. they're not expensive but yeah. there's not a lot of product in them. If you get yeah. them and open them, it's not a lot. And so I kind of, I've stopped that. Like it just, like if they were on sale, I would just nab another one. But yeah, yeah, I just don't do that anymore. One of the things that Juvia's Place came out with though in the recent year or two, eye primer. I love their eye primer, but again, Me same too. thing too. Every time I go, it's out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so hopefully the next time I do do an order, it is one of my favorites. I, I do See, love that. Now, yeah. I'm just gonna share a, a, a quiet little secret with you, Chloe. <laughs> Buy doubles. Every mm -hmm. time I get something from Juvia's place, especially if it's out of stock, like I have two of these in backup. Yeah, um, I have an extra couple of their eyeliners in backup. We'll talk about the eyeliners in a minute. Um, uh, like even the shade sticks and the and my foundation, I I will buy a couple so that I don't have to have that. Oh, it's out of stock. Yeah, yeah, and especially with things that you use all the time, right? Yeah. If it's something that you use if every once in a while, no, it's not good to do that. But if you use it all the time, yeah, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah, the no. other thing they came out with at the time of their eye primer. Now, the one thing about their eye primer, which was so funny, mm. you have to shake it. Yeah, yeah, oh especially yeah. Especially sure. if you don't use it every day. And I love watching these. It, I don't know about you, but I, I never put something directly on my face. Yeah. Put it on my hand and do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these people that do this or this, and so people were like squirting water right in their eye. I couldn't have enjoyed that more. <laughs> I laughed like a big old donkey at everyone who did it. So if you're one of those people, I laughed at you. Yeah, yeah. But but I also, but because I do it here, it was like, oh. <laughs> that was the first time too. And then it was yeah. like, so now when every time I use it, I'm like, hey, remember to shake it. Or I do with the Suva, remember to squish yeah. it. You know, yeah, like but, all the different. But I'll tell you, because of this, yeah, I shake everything before I put it on. I mean, most of the stuff I use that's loose, I use daily. Yeah, so yeah. it's fairly well shaken. But the I, other thing they came out with at that time or near that time was their eyeliner pens. Uh, they had the eyeliner pen and then they had the liquid liner. And then they liner. have these ones, the liquid liner. Yeah, those yeah. ones came out after with the um, Juvia's Garden yeah. palette. This is a great eyeliner if it works. Uh, the, the, the felt tip on it is huge mm -hmm. and it's nice. The eyeliner itself is sticky. It, it takes a bit to dry. You almost want to set it right away with a powder so it's not sticky. Got you. Especially yeah. if you put it on your upper lid, then open. If you have heavy eyelids like I do, it'll stick for a second. Like, mm -hmm. You know, it's it's weird. Um, but I found with mine that it dried out like almost immediately. I found like I was shaking it and I go to put it on, mm -hmm. get one good, and then it would die. And, yeah. and so I threw it, threw it out. Uh, that one and I and I haven't had a lot of trouble with this one but I haven't used it that much because I don't trust it uh, <laughs> the, the liquid one <laughs> mm -hmm. pardon me this one is interesting because it's got I found the, a oh, hard hard brush on it on these ones yeah yeah but it is so but so far it's kind of like a love hate thing I love that they're hard because I can do a really nice line but but then at the same time I feel like I'm poking my lid how hard are yours because mine are quite pliable 
I can't, yeah, they are. You can move it around, but it doesn't get like other ones where like spread apart at all. Like it's very, I see, very yeah. firm. But I like it because then you can make a really nice line with yeah. it, right? It doesn't bleed or anything. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's just something to get used to compared to other eyeliners. But yeah. I'm liking that it's firm because then it's easier to make a straight line. There's less of a chance of you screwing it up basically you know yeah i got i got two i got the same one i sent you that greeny yeah. yellow and then i have the white one and yeah. i use the white one on my eye but i have to tell you i don't like it mm. it's very sticky like i feel like when I, if i put it on my eye water line especially back here like when i close my eyes like you know and it's fine now yeah yeah but there's just that period where it's sticky and it's weird um and then this one, I use this one for my cut crease. I just used it to, to cut. Like yeah, a few no, I thought you did too. Just a little, little bit on. Yeah, that. and I like this one much better. I feel yeah. that this goes on a little better. The white, the white formula is odd, mm. and I don't know why. But yeah, yeah. But I like that they're coming out with new stuff. Yeah, no, and they got to try. And luckily with them, even if something is technically a fail, it's not that expensive, right? So you didn't spend, that's it. You didn't spend $50 for something not to work. So that's why I always say, I don't think I've ever really, I don't think I've had a flop with them. I've always been able to use everything, everything up. Yeah. Like I'm not really a concealer person, but their concealer made an amazing eye primer before they had eye primer. That's so right. I used to use that as my eye primer and it was amazing. They always say, oh no, you shouldn't use concealer as eye primer. It was the perfect eye primer. So that's how I ended up using it. Yeah. And then they came out with the perfect eye well, primer. Also, because <laughs> as a concealer, as we said, it dries pretty quick. So yeah, you have to move You know, that. if all you need is that lighter base to put makeup on, the concealer yeah. was excellent. Mm -hmm. um i quite enjoy this uh i don't find it creases as much as others it's still i have a lot of like it's not its fault i've got a lot of places yeah. for it to go yeah, uh, yeah but when you look at like when i first put it on if i just tap it it's fine for the powder mm -hmm. so oh they have their whole range of skincare have you tried any of it yes i love their cleansing balm their cleansing mm -hmm. balm is amazing and i try how much do you get it's the it's not it's per, it's a good size like yeah. it's not as big as the sephora one but it's not much smaller like it's oh, way okay. it's way more than the elf one i would say if you've ever seen the drunk elephant one it's about that size oh yeah because i i yeah. just because i haven't held it in my hand i haven't seen it and when yeah. i got the elf bomb i thought it was going to be at least twice this <laughs> yeah no it's small no the juvia's place one is way bigger than that it's like the drunk elephant size so i oh, think good. it lasted me a good month or so at least oh yeah, i might yeah, yeah next time yeah, it's on yeah. sale i might because I, I was going to they had some sales recent like they're gonna have yeah. some black friday sales because they had a whole if you're part of their email system mm -hmm. oh my god Every day they have a sale. Like they had these Halloween sales. Every day leading up to Halloween, they had something yeah. else on sale. Yeah. And it's all it's all this stuff. Like it's all stuff that you have. So if you have a favorite, you're killing it. It's only going to cost you fifteen bucks to replace it. Like it's not. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait until you know. Yeah. You get yeah. your inheritance or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. First, and no, I find those bombs yeah. for drag makeup. Oh, the best. No, totally. And then the the gel will take off the residue from the balm and any little bits of mascara, because mascara is always stubborn in some liquid lips. So that last little bit, that will take it off. And then, like I said, then basically just a probably a moisturizer and you're done, right? But then nice. I find with their balm and their jelly cleanser that your skin feels so nice afterwards that you really don't need a moisturizer because it makes your skin feel really good. Yeah. If you've not tried tried it, if you're if you're ordering something, I would I would definitely try try the balm, give it a go. I also I also feel because it's a black owned company leaning towards people of color, mm -hmm. the moisture level in their products is fantastic. Like I never feel even with their powders like I'm drying my face out. Mm -hmm. No, exactly. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure how they do that or if other people can do that and just don't, but uh, sometimes I'll have other products on my face from other companies and like, I'm halfway done and I'm like, 
<laughs> like I feel like my face is dehydrating, you uh -huh. know, for my eyes, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No. But I have to tell you, I want to thank you for asking me to do this with you because a, I'm a juvia's place whore. <laughs> Second of all, uh, as I was saying to you earlier before yes, we started filming, I, I, I relate. <laughs> just, I'm just so surprised at how much you have. Just a little. Let's see how we're doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, so many. It's so heavy. Oh. No, and this is just the eyeshadow. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. We have the exact same amount, even though it's all different. I, I think so. I think pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we have a lot of the same stuff, though. But yeah, I have to say thank you, because, like, I've been using the Trixie and my P. Louise blush and forgot how much I love that. Yeah, yeah. And it's sitting right there, so I'm using that. Also, I forgot... That I even had this blush palette. I, I got this in a mystery box. I don't think I would have bought mm -hmm. a blush palette because I never really used to be into blush until I started, quite frankly, using them at one. Yeah. And yeah. it made me less afraid of color on my face. So uh yeah, I yeah. really love that. And yeah. then this one, I have to, I have to use this. I love that yeah. so I much. I got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's perfect. The triad is awesome. And again, there, look, look. Oh, an eyebrow shade. Oh, <laughs> how they're developing now because they really, they, they kind of reached a glut on their own product and they needed to spread out. And they started with the skincare, which, as I said, not my thing. I would mm -hmm. love for them to try a setting spray. I would, I would try that for yes, them. Yes, 100%. I'm addicted. I actually would try anything from Juvia's Place once. Yeah. And I think I have, you know, there, at the time that I started buying from Juvia's place, uh, I started hearing rumblings about their customer service or something. So this is three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It was, it was this moment where it's like, no, no, because I just canceled Jeffree Star without even trying his stuff yet. And, um, I have never had a problem with their customer service. And maybe it's because I kind of started dealing with them after that kind of negative press. But I think they, they basically improved. They probably hired more people as they could afford to hire more people because I remember that and I was just starting to buy from them when all that problem was having. And I was like, okay, maybe it took a little bit longer. So if I ordered it on a Monday, it might've taken to the following Monday till they shipped it. And then it took another week to get to me. Uh, I'm in Canada. I'm used to it. So, yeah. so previous ahead. place, I give them a 10 out of 10. I totally yeah. give them a 10 out of 10, even though I have had a couple of issues with a couple of things. Uh, I want them to protect their eyeliner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, nobody can be absolutely perfect, especially when they're trying something. I mean, they, they started just as powder people, right? Eyeshadow, 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 and a little bit of blush. So I think they're they're coming a long way and they're doing good. And it's good to expand because again, there's only so many eyeshadow palettes that you can have before things start to, you know, re repeat themselves. And so there needs to be other things. So it's nice that they're branching out into blushes and lipsticks and lip liners and skincare and the whole nine yards. And I well, think you it's have to to keep up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the market, like if other people, if people are coming to you for great eyeshadow and then buy, buying an eye primer from your competitor or four or mm -hmm. five different people. Yeah. But yeah. then for most people who aren't us, they may only want to buy from one brand. So, exactly. if, they can, so if they can get everything from Juvia's Place to do their full face for their day-to-day -day office look, yeah. that's perfect, right? Because that brings yeah. them more money, right? They're not like us who you know, love so many brands and buy so many things, but this is still probably one of my favorite brands of all time. Is yeah. Place. yeah, I just hate that they don't sell in drugstores up here like they do at Ulta in the States. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this is something that I think shoppers or Rexall should get on. Oh, for sure. I think that's where I got this, the blush palette from. I think I got it when I was in the States at Ulta. I think that's where I where I got it. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah. so thank you. Thank you for joining me to discuss all things Juvius. <laughs> oh my God. I could sad, sad that I could go on and on. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh yeah, like, no. this is a great Sunday night for me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. With my runny nose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I just want to because you know, I'm gonna go into this year no buy. So I wanna go and I wanna start 
showing the love to all the things that I love that I spent money on spent coin on you know and uh learn to enjoy it again right so that's well you've part, inspired part, me my yeah. darling because just based on juvias alone I don't need to buy makeup for a year yeah I don't and there is nothing I mean God help me yesterday on Instagram P Louise showed a new palette two-sided it's very rainbowy but one side's all like the warmer tones and the other side's mm -hmm. the bluer greener tones mm -hmm. stunning I don't need that yeah I don't need that I have so many rainbow palettes that I, I I shouldn't even care that that's there but it's it's the new the pretty the yeah, phone I'm not buying it I know yeah, but yeah, yeah. also I'm very very lucky and I I always let people know I have some of the best supporters in the world because I've often sent things like makeup and uh I've one of uh one of my uh followers uh Leon sent me like a whole stack of uh, Juvia's place once and uh and I think I only had one dupe in what he sent me yeah I'm not I'm not going to be buying anything this year myself either like that's I also find there's that feeling where you see something new and you're oh 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 and and well that new thing just becomes the next thing in the pile right and you're just yeah like, adding and everything to the pile, gets like, adding to the pile. yeah and then it's you know makeup I mean luckily powders last a really long time but it's still getting old you know yeah. as it's sitting there yeah. some formulas will stop working after a while and if you've barely touched them what was the point of getting them to begin with right yeah. so. that's why I tell you uh, I I did do a bit of a declutter and I didn't declutter a lot I mean I think I decluttered two no five Juvia's place palettes but four of them were those quads Mm -hmm. um and i just had to make some hard calls but even then i i don't think i got rid of more than well i think i got rid of like 30 palettes that sounds like a lot but mm. it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> so ashamed i know right? but yeah i think one of the things i'm going to be doing for this Honor, year what is that no declutter no no declutter. don't don't don't, don't <laughs> you, shh, not you babies not you shh, shh. uh but um I think one of the things I'm going to do this year is I want to try and get through every palette I own, use every one once. That's a good and, idea. I yeah. Want and I'm just going to start at one end and I'm just going to go through like I have. Yeah, no, I'm going to try and go through all my foundations, all my powders, all the usable stuff that I've got tons of. I want it want by the end of next year that I've used all of it. And then I'm just going to buy my favorite foundation, my favorite powder you know like get the core products yeah. and then in the meantime try and work on all this other stuff i mean there's no way i'm going to go through you know probably at this point a couple hundred palettes get you know work all the way through them no but you have uh, over 200 palettes of makeup I, pro I probably i probably do if all I right well i think that this is the fallout of of covid uh, is i just i i loved conversation and four <laughs> hours later <laughs> that's how it always goes isn't it <laughs> but uh but yeah. yeah I really appreciate you doing this because as I say it's really uh reminded me of some of the treasures that I have and how unnecessary buying everything is so um I'm not officially throwing my hat into your no buy for a year ring but I yeah. am there with you in solidarity and okay. I'm going to do my best to just not bother buying it like it bothers me the amount of makeup I have now yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the environmental impact as well. If you, if you know, I mean, at least we're keeping it and using it. Yeah, it's not going into anywhere now. <laughs> yeah, and then it's yeah, and it's nice to like again to go back quickly to Juvia's place. This packaging seems to be all recyclable, so yeah. that's that's a win, anyways. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. This was awesome. I love chatting everything uh, makeup, and for everybody that is watching, make sure to follow Wilma um hopefully um we've got you excited about a juvia's place too um is there um you want to tell everybody where they can find you yes i am on a youtube at the uh it's because uh, i have a handle now the wilma finger do review uh i'm on instagram at the wilma finger do and uh well i'm i'm on twitter and facebook but uh if you just google me there i'm the only wilma finger do that matters 
Of course, the most important one. Excellent. So make sure to follow her. And as always, if you can give us a like, comment, and subscribe, or maybe even hit that notification bell, it'd be greatly appreciated. If not, we can all be friends. We can still talk Juvia's Place and make up together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah.